just a very disappointing um, performance today. Tough loss. Um, congratulate Coach Shiano. Um, done a good job with the football team. They're six and two for a reason, and uh, good good physical football team. But uh, um, just uh, too many mistakes. Special teams just uh, hurt us sadly, um, and uh, inexcusable block punt. And obviously the points right before halftime. Defense played hard um, up to that point there and did some good things. But uh, obviously just run the field too much. But uh, and then gave up that long run at the end, which was really, really tough. So, but uh, um, just got to keep working. Got five games left. Just keep on finding a way to get better every week. Questions? Hey, Coach. Um, <clears throat> uh, Look at the stats, not a lot of difference, but two things that stand out. They ran for 276 yards, and then the time of possession was really lopsided, 37 and a half to about 22 and a half. Because yeah. how disappointing was it? You just weren't able to get them off the field there yeah. at times and kind of slow them down in the run game. Very, you know, I was concerned about that. You know, that's what they've been able to do. Um, but uh, just, uh, you know, that didn't do a good enough job on first downs. Got too many third and shorts. Got a big quarterback run game that, that, that we knew they would do. And, and uh, yeah, just frustrating. Couldn't get off. You know, I had a couple of drives that I thought we should have, you know, and uh, it was a penalty or um, just poor execution, you know, and just got, got to play better, you know, and uh, just really, man, just uh, can't do that. I mean, we got to be able to get off the field defensively and, and uh, cannot give that kind of run game. I mean, it's, it just bleeds the clock and bleeds your energy. And, and uh, keeps keeps our offense off the field, so just tough. I guess with just the, the variety of changes you've tried to make offensively, whether it's personnel, play calling, all those things, is there ever a concern for you that, that guys just become a little bit too discouraged, a little bit con too consumed by the offensive struggles week to week to, to stay focused and keep pushing forward? Yeah, I mean, that's a concern. There's no question, you know, but at the same time, you just have to, um, you know, Got many games left, and we have to find a way to, to improve, you know. And uh, um, yeah, there's no doubt at this stage of after playing this many games, you know, you get guys, you know, get uh, um, get down and uh, get discouraged, and and we got to battle that without question. So that's where your leadership comes in from your players and coaches as well. So, but uh, um, there's no doubt, very frustrating, you know, at the same time. But uh, um, just gotta keep battling, keep fighting. Tom. Uh with the morale being what it is and with the, the losses piling up, do you feel like your guys have an identity to fall back on uh, to try to pull themselves out of it? What do you feel like the identity of this team is um, as you try to get, get things going forward? Yeah, I just think that uh, you rely on the character of your guys, you know, and your coaches and just be able to um, stand strong in the face of adversity. Well, Self-inflicted or not, you know, whatever, wherever, however it comes, whatever it comes from. So, uh, just to be able to um, continue to battle, you know, and, and continue to uh, feel the accountability of just being able to come back every day and and just keep working, you know, but for the people around you and the, and the people that you that you play for, you know. So, but yeah, it's it's definitely a challenging time. This was a, a tough loss for sure, and one that we knew we needed to get, and uh, just. Frustrating that we have those kind of mistakes, you know, but uh, when, you know, it's not that they weren't necessarily forced, you know, just things that we got to be able to do that, do better at. So, uh, but once again, you know, hats off to them. I'm not going to take anything away from them. They ran the ball well and they made plays on special teams they had to make. Yeah, Coach, um, do you feel the season kind of starting to slip away and what are the steps that you guys need to take to keep it from slipping? Yeah, I mean, there's no question, you know, you, uh, I don't, I don't think I feel it. I think it's a reality that, uh, you know, you get to this stage of the year and you've got, you know, several losses now in a row. It's a tough, tough reality, you know, so that's where you don't hide from it. You got to address it head on and, and you got to really work hard together to, to help you guys. And so we got to do a better job as coaches, and make better calls and, and, uh, put them in a better position, and, and then those guys got to finish as well. So uh, it's all of us together, and we're all locked arms, and, and uh, we're all in this together. It's what we are. It's what we do. And uh, you just continue to teach how to handle challenging times and how to handle a, a chance to put the stake in the ground and, and change momentum, you know, which is what we need to do. We obviously got it. You know, uh, another opportunity next week, which is what uh, uh, is what we're facing and uh, on the road again. But at the same time, um, it's about us right now being able to – band together and continue to battle. And that's what we're going to do. So we uh, just going to lock arms and fight. 
Coach, you kind of alluded to it right there, but you guys are 2-20 and 20 in your last 22 Big Ten contests. What needs to be different to change that going forward? Yeah, well, we got to execute better in regards to score more points, seven, score enough points to win games, keep the defense off the field. A defense got to get key stops at key times. Special teams can't give up. Um, you know, block punt, you know, those are going to get you beat pretty much every time that happens statistically. And so uh, um, not not a good situation to be in, not a good place to be without question. So, But it uh, falls on me. I'm the one in charge, and I'm the one responsible. So. This is on me. Uh, Coach, what ultimately led to your decision to go with Brendan at quarterback today? What do you, what do you see out of him uh, today? And I know you said earlier in the week that whoever you go with this week was going to be your guy the rest of the season. Do you still feel that way? Well, I said he was going to be a guy for the rest of the game. You know, we weren't going to we weren't going to rotate him back and forth in the game, you know. So, but uh, at the same time, you know, obviously, um, you know, he did some good things. Um, obviously, got to continue to grow and develop. But uh, they're both young, you know. So, obviously, continue to allow them to play and to continue to get better is the key. And uh, just feel like that, uh, you know, he had earned the right to have that opportunity. And uh, uh, so. Did some things that were positive without question, but uh, still got to generate more in the throw game, which is what we're trying to do. Bottom line is uh, we have ran the football better against a really good defense in the box, uh, but not not good enough in the throw game to create points, which is what we got to do. Because, you know, when you, when you score points, that energizes the defense as well and gives them a lot more, no matter whether they're on the field or not. It has a psychological effect without question. And so and it's just the reality of how you got to win. You know, we know that. So, But uh, I, do, I do think that, uh, um, you know, continue to build off of what he's doing well and continue to grow this football team. So, obviously, Dexter continues to be, you know, a guy that's, uh, you know, in the periphery as far as his development and his physical uh, recovery from where he's at. So, uh, just want to continue to help give our team the best chance we have to have success on game day. Jack, last one. Yeah, Tom, it seemed like uh, the blocked punt, there was like some pre-snap confusion just with the team, I guess, what, what did Rutgers do something that was unexpected? Well, it wasn't confusing. Was it? We were just checking, you know, based on what they were showing, and, and we have a, we have a whole check system, you know, and so we were just going through our checks, and and uh, so when they line up a certain way, and we leave ourselves enough time on the play clock to do that, and uh, so, um, but they just they out execute us in that regard, you know, in regards to being able to get the call they wanted and us execute what we had called, you know. So, but no, it was it wasn't a um, we were just checking checking the, the, uh, the call based on their initial alignment. Was it something unexpected? That no, but we, we had worked on it through and just we got to, you know, in those situations, we got to make sure everybody, every single guy, you know, they're bringing all those guys. Everybody's got to make his block. You know, obviously, I'll go back and watch it on film. But, but uh, yeah, we were we were working on them doing that. And had different things. We could have checked a certain part of it that we didn't, which we actually did later on after that kick to, to a little more, you know, to, and make sure there was no issue with it. But at the same time, we felt good about how we had it, you know, schemed up. So, wasn't good enough.